Generally, there are three types of solution. The first one is isotonic, the second one is hypotonic, and the third one is hypertonic. And today, we will only focus on hypertonic. Hypertonic means that the environment outside of the cell has a higher concentration of solutes than the cell. For example, just think of a potato slice soaked in a salt solution. The potato slice is also known as subcell, and the salt solution is just salt solution. Salt solution is more concentrated than the subcell. So that's mean the salt solution is hypertonic to the potato slice. When the potato slice is soaked in the salt solution, the water from the potato cell diffuses out to the salt solution by osmosis. What is the effect of hypertonic solution? For animal cell, the cell will shrink and undergo crenation. On the other hand, for plant cell, the cell will experience plasmolysis where the vacuole and the cytoplasm shrink. Also, the plasma membrane is pulled away from the cell wall. Hypertonic can also be applied in daily life by the making of chips. Let's make banana chips to understand this concept better. Before that, we must prepare jackfruit banana. One glass of water and one tablespoon of salt. First of all, we need to make salt solution by adding one tablespoon of salt into the water and soak the banana into the solution. Next, slice the banana thinly. Lastly, deep fry the banana and you will get a crispy banana chip. From the video, we can see that the banana is soaked in salt solution. Why is that? The salt solution is hypertonic to the banana. So, the water from banana cell diffuses out to the salt solution by osmosis. This will cause the banana cell to dehydrate, which means the concentration of water in banana cell decrease. Thus, the banana chips will become more crunchy. The banana chips will also last for a long time. Why? Because the lack of water in banana cell will prevent the growth of microorganisms. Question 1. Explain what had happened to the plant in Q. To answer this question, we must observe the stimulus. The plant Q is under hot and dry condition. So, the plant Q will be wilted because soil water will be evaporated. So, the soil solution become hypertonic compared to the plant cell salt. Water molecule diffuses out from the cell by osmosis. Lastly, the cell become plasmolyzed. Question number 2 The diagram shows a mango immersed in concentrated sugar solution. In your opinion, explain why concentrated sugar solution is used to preserve the mango. We need to answer it like this. Concentrated sugar solution is hypertonic to the mango cell. Water molecule diffuses out from mango cell by osmosis. The mango cell become plasmolyzed. Bacteria die due to the loss of water from mango cell to surrounding. Lastly, mango can last longer.